Well, it's funny that the, the myeloma community and patients have this perception that, that you know, one of the goals is to drive uh, transplant out of, uh, of myeloma care. And maybe one day that, that will happen, but there has still been no study that has shown transplant based therapies to be inferior to anything else. And in today's world, uh, it probably remains the single most active intervention that we can do. And in addition to that, it is now amongst the least expensive uh, interventions that we can make and the one with the least long lasting toxicities. So the idea that it is something that needs to be gotten rid of I find a little bit objectionable. And whether it is going to remain the platform on which we build, probably in the short term it will. Um, in the long term, who, who knows? But, but again, the, the emphasis should be on that the perception that transplant is a dangerous modality that is incredibly toxic has never been supported and continues not to be supported by the, the data. Again, extremely low mortality rates, extremely low levels of long-lasting toxicity, and now lower toxicities and lower costs, you know, the, these, these are two things that, that this is exactly what the medical world wants. So I don't see transplant going away anytime soon. I think we need to change our attitudes about it a little bit rather than, you know, drive it out of our armamentarium.